Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Colonization. Ben, hey. how are you doing? I'm good. I want to want to carry on the adventures of Cormet. I'm still reading a little bit from the sinking of that ship. Yeah, it our, was um, it was a sad day, and yeah, the many, colonists are mourning the loss. Many good. Who knew that drowned. we were still at war with the Spanish? Yeah, I Who assumed we were still peace. relevant. I think we should launch a retaliatory strike on Santo Domingo. Yeah, we could even like burn down the Aztecs as well because they're like different to our Indian brothers. Yeah, that's maybe a good idea. Because, so <laughs> well, Spain seems to be getting just endless amounts of mega treasure out of them, don't they? That's true. But I don't know how... So the strategy we really want is we mm. want... F well, I was thinking, like, the classic Civ strategy of four cities. Right. Okay, so, like, yeah. one, two, and then this one here, a venison, and then four, four coastal cities that we'll make big. Right. And have... So that means we need four real statesmen. Yes. Um... We need four master carpenters. We need four, probably at least four blacksmiths. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I worked out last time that the way this sort of is set up, okay, is that all town, if we build roads on these mountains, this will be 20 all per turn. Yeah. Okay. One blacksmith makes 20 tools per turn, but I'm just going to very quickly change this music because it is like, this is the most depressing one. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and sometimes it goes to this one um, but yes but because we've got a factory it actually uses slightly less ore yeah. but it uses like it's like 20 I ore think, for 40 I think tools 40 or something 40 tools like needs 26 ore right so if we go up to 60 tools it's going to need uh, 39 40 ore right okay. so that's 40 ore so, so we'll be two ore, town. ore towns yeah with two mountains or two hills but we'll feed three this blacksmiths. Like three blacksmiths nice and then we can make 60 tools per turn then we can make the muskets here and this can be this can, can be, be New York can be it can be New York you know it's just a yeah munitions plant what's the famous <laughs> um like um military training play base in America oh. is it like point um West Point West Point yeah maybe we can rename it to West Point <laughs> New York West Point I feel like I feel like maybe that's a bit too long. <laughs> it's definitely a bit too long. Yeah. I think I think we've got to keep the cool dude. It's too famous. Yeah. But it's I, mean, I, I like the idea of naming it something American, though, mm. that's famously kind of like actually For military fit, stuff. These, fit these names. Well, if it's like a military factory, maybe Detroit would be better or um, somewhere like that, because that's where all the tanks were made. That's true. I mean, Havana's the name of a place. This is not a good named city. No, it's not even going to be Clothland anymore. It's not really making cloth. It's not. What, what are we going to call it? We need to um, call it something down the coast. Louisiana. Louisiana. I feel like, or maybe it can be called... Horse World. Louisiana. <laughs> Louisiana. I used Perfect. to really enjoy naming a town after myself <laughs> right. in games when I was young. I couldn't, um. I always called things Lewiston. And this one <laughs> is very easy to change. Benton. Benison. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have a shank of your finest venison. <laughs> there we are. Now we're in the game. Now it feels, it feels more... Don't you lose venison. It's correct. very important to me now. I'm a genius. So um, um, we got, we're doing okay. I think the plan is to keep keep these guys mm. trading. We've got so, one more real estate to trade. So if the city's on the coast, it's going to be a super metropolis. If it's inland, it's just going to be a little supply run. Yeah, like with close. max five. It's just going to... Ferry goods over. Yeah, and we'll, we'll we'll get some more wagon trains. We'll get some forts. Um, mm -hmm. This place. So I've got. I've moved these guys out of here because I want to send them back. Right. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna wrap any colonists who are not. I'm not gonna send free colonists out anymore. They're all gonna the get trained up. They're all gonna be trained. Everyone that we yeah. send out is gonna be a professional. Mm -hmm. um, so in this town, we got three three fairly useless professionals actually, but What's, these uh, two Brent? are gonna head back. Well, furry guy's not not really doing a good job, is he? He's not, but yeah, and therefore we should probably send him back um, because he's not actually he's no he's not gonna want to get fur anywhere here that's any value. Well, twelve. I mean, that's not great, is it? So, so yeah, we haven't really got any beavers. Um, the deer are apparently more of a food resource than than a beaver resource. Um, <laughs> Man. So I think someone else has been adding some music in the background, but I quite like. You like the um, classics. I quite like the classics. The swing about them it just puts me in the mood. So we're not playing this <laughs> like um, <laughs> we're not playing. Oh, a new Indian tribe, the Cherokee. So that's the beaver. That's that's good furs. Okay. These these obviously these tribes are 
really out in the wilderness. Yeah, I mean that scout's going on a on a big mish. So um, I'm excited to buy a frigate and just really fuck those Spanish guys up because I'm not happy with them sinking sinking our troops. And they're interdicting New York. We basically can't get any of the goods out of New York, which is our silver and our rum, the most like, we precious enough, things we though? have. No, you're kidding. Oh, yes. Oh, we have. Oh, God. Um, purchase frigate. Like, as soon as we get those Spanish out of the way, the better. I think the way this will work is... It goes the, on the um, last boat, doesn't it? It'll go on, actually go on the last boat, weirdly. Um, oh, we go. Curacao. Bellis has made a storehouse. We'll make the tools there. That's fine. 50% rebel sentiment's fine. Everything is going. Hmm. So what should we do with this privateer? Go and um, I guess bring him up so that... We could attack the frigate. If the frigate... If our frigate doesn't do the job, the privateer can have a crack. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think it will weaken him. Uh, this wagon train, I, I put the ore on, so I need to put him back on the ore route, back on actually. on the ore train, yeah. Uh, sign trade route. Ore town route. Ore town. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking we need another uh, ore town. Right. Um, we brought two ore miners, put ore miners down here, but we can buy them cheap. They're really dirt cheap ore miners. Okay, so we do we, those ore miners down south. Do they want to go to Havana? Havana's going to start because you built roads on those hills. So Havana's going to make it like its own ore, isn't it? So this is going to be a, the southern ore town. Yeah. Because we need to, we need a lot of tools for building the forts in these three places. Yeah. So I figure we need one more. I mean, we could build a town here. Yeah, there's an ore resource. There's That's a good. lot of ore there. Maybe. Hmm. I don't want to put another coastal city down, no, really. It's just another target for when um, when the loyalists here's come. Here's got a lot of hills. Maybe here's okay. Next to that camp, camp's not good. Is that going to upset the, mm. the locals? Where oh, else? Well, hang okay. on. Uh, directly north of the ore gives yeah. us the trees as well as an ore. But here. Yeah. That might actually not be the worst. What are these? These plains. Is that all right for food? Can we, yeah, can they're see? okay. Because right, really, all we only. Oh, and people down. in the comments were saying if we plough a territory before we settle, mm -hmm. then the we get extra food on the city. You can still plough the city tile. Oh, okay. Which cool. we haven't been doing, uh, but you can still plough the city tile. Right. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I, I did forget that actually, because this is obviously these these city tiles are could be could be made more productive if we wanted them to be. Mm. Okay, we'll have to probably think about doing that actually. That's actually a great suggestion because I don't think we ploughed the tropical forest on New York. No, we didn't. Yeah, so everyone could be getting a bit more food. So that should be. We're not super short on Savannah. food, are we? So I think the furs will change to sugar, which will be actually not that's, the worst. That's thing. good for us, yeah. All right. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. That's a good suggestion. Cool. Uh, this this is supposed to be the wood route, isn't it, from these two? So let's can we have we set that up as well. I thought we had. Uh, let's view a trade route. Yes, yeah, so it's run. the lumber run. Yeah. So it's furs and wood we set it up on, which is exactly what they make. Okay, so let's just um, get that one going. Yeah, we'll have to once he starts it. Lumber run. Um, we'll have to go in because at the moment the, the lumberjacks stopped cutting down trees because they maxed out. Right. So he'll have to go back on back on wood cutting. So this is the ploughed marsh, which. And oh, yeah. this is the road. I need to not plough that. And um, I rode this. I yeah, guess. let's just put that lumberjack back on before the turn ends. Oh. Down in um, Timberland. In, in whereabouts? In, uh, next to Lewistown. Oh, was he not. No, no, he because he, he'd maxed out his wood, he started ringing bells. Ah, my bad. All right. It's 26 wood. Yeah. Crikey. It's a lot of wood. That is a lot of wood. So he's going to ferry all the wood back. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we we can hopefully keep this blacksmith being productive, get enough tools together, finish this off in a couple of turns. We've got the ore. Okay, it's all going well. Hmm. Pleased. Oh, yeah, so now we've got to move all these farmers right. back up to New yeah, York. Yeah, it's going to take a bit of fiddling to get all our... Reassign all of our professionals. Yeah, we've got a few professionals who are looking to to be to give orders to. All right, so you're going off there. I think we want to send one guy. Should we just send them all up this 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 trunk road? Yeah, we'll send uh, them all up. That's where the schools are. Figure I guess. out what we're going to do. See how far it takes. See if they go. They can't go too far. It looks like even on the roads. Yeah, like, it's um. I think three. A road is like a third of a move. I mean so. that's. It'll take them two or three turns. It's not, not the end of the world. They'll be there in, in no time. We can only train like three of them at a time anyway, so... 
Hopefully he'll be able to actually get to work. Fur trapper. Might be yeah. able to just stick him in there and get him working on the furs. Might not be the worst thing in the world. Although the extra food's pretty good. Uh, we're building a schoolhouse here. Are we done? Which is fine. Let's build a stockade. Cool. I feel like I feel like just. Oh, just, he's not. Is he just going to fortify? Um, he was our furry. Oh my God. Well, well. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> I'm already messing up. Oh, so there's a cannon here. Sorry, I needed to flag that up. We got oh, a French yeah, cannon. Shit, I keep forgetting about that. Oh, another nine thousand for the Spanish. We've got to take these guys out because they are just making money hand over fist. They really are, aren't they? Oh look, my furs arrived. Oh man, we're gonna crash the fur market. Oh, it didn't crash. Mm, nice. We have got one thousand five hundred gold. Bring hmm. in some artillery, some dragoons or something. I feel like our military is like really understaffed. We could afford two artillery. It's pretty good. That's all happening. Yeah. Oh, these guys used to pull their tools. I guess where do we send them back to to get more tools back to them? Back to New York, I guess. Yeah, it's the only place that's making them with any speed. We've got all these hardy pioneers that we brought up. I think it's good though. You know, we're um We're getting we're finally developing our land. We left it for quite a long time. Off they go. Boop boop boop. Everyone's running about. So yeah. do we want to get another Another blacksmith training people up. You want one more blacksmith? You? Um, oh yeah, we could always. I think we're always going to need more blacksmiths. But then again, this guy's a blacksmith, I think, oh, isn't he? he? Uh, oh no, he's a free colonist at okay. the moment. Okay, but yeah, because we want a blacksmith in every one of the big cities, don't we? We are going to need. Plan. Yeah, these two free colonists are trainable. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Um, uh, what needs orders? Uh, there, there's a guy in Louis Louisiana. Could you bail it? Yeah. All right, do the bells. Ring them bells. Well, that's the end of the turn. Cool. Sticking over. Oh, oh, I'm feeling a bit stressed about that cannon coming. Yeah, well, we've got a dragoon in um, in New York, right? I wonder why we could see it. Yeah, it's very. Ah, oh, that's the silver. The mine silver out. specials have gone. Okay, should we switch to or? Still I think good, we huh? need to, yeah. I think we might need to clear this guy's speciality as well. I think we might just clear his speciality because silver miner. Because there's no other silver there's anywhere. Ne we're, ne we're, not, we're not likely to have another right. silver miner. Should we send him up for training? Yeah, no, that means we send him for training, yeah. What's this? this is a hardy pioneer who hasn't got... I mean, we could clear his speciality as well. I, I think there's more, more pioneering to be done. All right. So this mm. we're going to leave this here for now. And bring back all miners. All the food might generate an extra person. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Does it generate an extra person at 100? 200. 200. But it can't hold 200. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe food goes over? I don't know. Mm. Oh, rum's maxed maybe. out. Because we haven't been able to get a boat in here. And tools are maxed out. Shit. Okay. Um, well, that's exciting. Well, I guess you can work on crosses and... You can work on. <laughs> oh shit! Um, Follow food. Carpentry? Should we? No, we can't do any more carpentry. Um, muskets. Oh, what? we can get a guy on muskets. Oh, we've got a gunman somewhere, haven't we? Okay, so he can work on muskets. He can work on crosses. This will bring us more random peeps coming in, though. Hmm, this is interesting. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on this once we've. Once we ship the run, so out, we definitely still we'll get... need this lumberjack here. Mm, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? That's yeah, have we got a lumberjack a coming back to um, to train up? Oh, Vanna's maxed out on its ore. This ore miner here, should we send him down to Louis, Louisiana, and get him training up a new ore miner? Ore miners are cheap; they're really dirt cheap, so we can buy them. They're the cheapest okay. one to buy, so Fair we enough. shouldn't really waste time training them. Really, so we've got we've got two of them here, and neither of them are mining. Yeah, we could set up the new. We could make the new ore colony. Well, that's played the blacksmith shop. I guess we could do with building some wagon trains just to, to sort of deal with this overflow a little bit. Yeah. If we're going to bring the ore down to here and make this the tool shed. Then, yeah, we make, we should get a um, we should get a wagon. Wagons don't take long, do they? 40 hammers. It's like two turns. Hmm. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. Once we get one blacksmith down here, we can train more. To remember, this this place has got a schoolhouse that so can train. Yeah. Oh, it's got the muskets guy too. It's got a gunsmith. That's not bad. That means we can make this yeah. a second arsenal. A second arsenal. Hmm. 
Who is this guy? He's uh, the preacher. Okay. Should we get back to preaching? <laughs> it's super sure. depressing. <laughs> it's like a funeral dirge. This is isn't it. I don't know. I just want the tool. I want. I want this done. Really. I want. I want. I want to get some stuff built. Might as well get him building. Um. This is not hammers. This is. This is tools. Oh yeah, all the wrong way around. Oh, I see. We had a couple of guys on tools. Yeah, because we needed twenty tools to build the blacksmith shop. So we like focused it. I see. We're making. Well, I mean, we need to. We need to increase our hammer usage, though, because I think I think we need to just make sure we make enough hammers and and tools here because yeah. we need the tools and the hammers for things like this. And we're gonna otherwise we're gonna overflow on wood. I see what you mean about those two or two or guys. Feels like they're sort of wasting their time at the moment. We can send them to here. This this needs two or guys. That's true. Let's do that. Um, because there's already a there's already a thing set up for them, a wagon train that brings the silver back. Okay, so we, we'll need to switch it. So maybe we just change that. Maybe we don't have to build a new ore town. Maybe we choose and saw to bring the ore up there instead. And this place doesn't then make any tools or anything. We bring the tools down to this place. Okay. Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll have basically ore town, new Nassau, and um, at the other uh, place. And the other place will all be making. That's so three three sets of ore production. That seems that like, should be that enough, seems like it? enough, doesn't it? Yeah. I feel like that'll be enough. Hmm. I don't. I don't think we'll need more than that. And we've got our ships coming back now. They're taking a long time, though. They're taking a really long time. Or maybe we're just. This slowly making its yeah, it's way making around. It's making me nervous. I feel like we should get a second dragoon up in New York. Um, in case, well, in case it gets snooped. Get this guy. Like, oh, just he's harassing hate him. us. Hate him so much. Did we actually? Did they? Did we actually? Did they actually sink one of our merchantmen? Yeah, I think, no, I think maybe it got repaired. I can't remember. Yeah, it must have got repaired because we've got two merchantmen. We haven't got enough movement to actually attack him. This frigate has got all of its stuff on it. Oh, shit. Yeah, get it all out. I feel like I need to just get everything landed. Yeah, definitely. We can't lose all that stuff again. Just in case. I mean, as a bigger blow as that was, that was the only... The only really bad thing that's happened this playthrough Yeah, so I mean, this playthrough has been so, so good. Yeah. So good. It's so good. It's been so successful that we've really had, like, very few problems. Uh, we, I think we did have a guy here that we didn't put to work. No, nope. We had a guy here that we didn't put to work. We fortified him instead. Um, sure. Has this got a warehouse? Yeah. All right, so that'll be fine. Leave that there. Um, this is the privateer. Right, should we just go in, have a crack with the privateer? Let's just land these. And then yeah. Maybe this has got enough moves to do an attack. Not quite. All of our pioneers are just like completely empty of tools, but I'm pretty sure we can replenish them just fine, you know. Yeah, we've got our tool production up now. I think it's, it's going to be okay. Oh my god, it's getting very crowded down here. So right, we need them. We need them. We're training, aren't we? We're training new, new professions. Um, and food's good. Food's more people. Let's make um, one of them into a dragoon, so that that um, oh, we're over overpopped. Make... Oh, we can make a dragoon, can we? Yeah, I think that'd be good because then that artillery can't. Um... Oh, of course, because we're actually finally making fucking we're finally muskets. making muskets. Yeah. The thing is, if we make one into a dragoon, it's going to mean that the. The um, horse is not growing Oh, as that's much. true. Well, maybe dismount him then. Turn him into a, like a rifleman. Oh, just for now. Mm. Just so to keep the um, keep the horse breeding up. Good horse production. Yeah. Because we've got the excess food. Mm, this looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks It's really fucking good. Holy shit. It's really, really packing it. So he's really just, packing him in. He's waiting. Waiting for some room. Right, what is that? I'm oh, just nervous about this do. frigate on frigate action. Yeah, it's like a too. fifty. It's like a coin flip. I think the attacker gains a bonus. Oh, that is true. So you don't want him to jump you. Oh, master carpenters. Nice. Talk to about those. So yeah, the privateer can like find, find him because he's got the movement, he and then the frigate goes in for the kill. Oh, did we run out of movement? Oh, 
That's oh, the worst. God damn it. Should we just take a pot shot with the privateer? It might be worth it. Should try a chance? Cause what, I mean, worst case scenario, the privateer just goes back for, for repairs, right? Oh, jeez. Hey, we oh, sunk it. We didn't even, sank it. didn't even damage it. Ah. Oh. Oh, feels good, man. They just lost 5,000 bucks worth of boat. Yeah, suck it. That is fucking Ravenge, man. That is actually, that is actually, we're now even. <laughs> if we'd <laughs> yeah. lost our privateer and our frigate, I would have, I don't know what I would have done. I would have probably rage quit this, <laughs> this whole series. That's not true. I think I'd, I think I'd be all right, but let's oh, go talk to this that's chief. a big relief, man. Because now we can finally start getting goods out of New York. Start making some money again. <laughs>